It was a warm, bright Saturday. The sun was shining overhead. Tom and his cousin Sid were having a holiday. It was a day to enjoy, a day to have fun. Tom could hear the birds chirping in the trees. He was in a very cheerful mood. He was planning to go swimming with his friends. He thought of the cool water longingly. What a great time they would have! Just then, he heard Aunt Polly's voice. Tom, where are you? Coming, Aunt Polly. He called and rushed to his aunt's room. I want you to whitewash the fence today, Aunt Polly said. But we were planning to go swimming. Tom started, but he was not allowed to finish his sentence. You cannot go anywhere. You'll be finishing the whitewashing of the fence, Aunt Polly said, and walked out of the room. Alas, Tom's wish could not be fulfilled. Now all his plans were spoiled. He could not escape. Aunt Polly was strict, and he had to obey her. He will have finished the whitewashing by evening, and after that, he would not be able to go for swimming. He came out of the house sadly, with a long brush in one hand and a bucket full of whitewash in the other. He looked at the fence in dismay. How high the fence is! How long it is! Tom thought. The fence was nine feet high and thirty yards long. Tom dipped his brush in the whitewash and drew it slowly across the fence. It made a small white mark. He did it again, and there was another small white mark. Tom sat down wearily. It looked as though it would take the whole day and perhaps even the night to finish the work. Suddenly, he saw Jim, the boy who helped his aunt. With the tougher jobs in the house, he was carrying a bucket to fetch water from the village pump. Jim, let me fetch the water while you whitewash the fence. I'll give you a marble if you let me do it. Tom said. Before Jim could reply, he was spotted by Aunt Polly, and he went on his way. Tom picked up the brush and started working hard, but he couldn't do it for long. He felt tired and bored. After some time, he saw his friend Ben Rogers coming along the street. A brilliant idea came to his mind. Tom was very clever at getting what he wanted. He pretended not to see Ben, who was eating a juicy red apple. Ben came up to Tom and was surprised to see him working. I am going for a swim, but you can't come, can you? You are working. There was a look of pity on Ben's face. This isn't work, Tom said. Whitewashing is fun. You've never whitewashed a fence, have you? No, I haven't. Let me whitewash a little, Tom. Oh no, I have promised Aunt Polly that I'll do it myself. She won't trust anyone else to do it. Sid wanted to do it, but she would not allow him. I shan't make a mistake. I'll be very careful. Here, you can take my apple, if you like. Please let me do it, Tom. Tom now had Ben begging for a chance to whitewash the fence. Slowly and unwillingly, Tom handed the brush to Ben and sat down to eat the delicious apple while his friend worked in the hot sun. Soon, other boys came along with their offerings. Before the afternoon was over, the fence had three coats of whitewash on it. Tom was the owner of twelve marbles, a tin soldier, a key, a dog's collar, the handle of a knife, and four segments of an orange. He had cleverly got what he wanted by pretending to enjoy the work he was doing. Needless to say, Aunt Polly was delighted to see the fence looking so spotlessly white. She couldn't believe Tom had whitewashed the fence all by himself. She gave him. A big apple to eat.